Hi, this is Narendran from Binsara, UK. In this lecture, I am going to walk you through a basic web API application using Visual Studio 2017 and SQL Server Espers. Let us start. So Visual Studio 2017. Click on File. Click on File, New Project. So in this demo, we are going to follow code first approach and we are using ASP.NET Core Web Application. So click on Core Web Application. Give it a name, uh, just say uh, yes, okay. Sierra's shop, okay. Or Sarah's shop. So I will save this on desktop. New folder, Sarah's shop. Select the folder and click OK. <coughs> so click on API. We don't want any uh, HTTPS to configure. So click OK. As we are going to follow code first approach, so we go to create model class first. So in order to do that, add a new folder, name it as models, right click on models, then click add, add a class. So we'll say category class, okay? Category dot CS, okay? So here we got our model class category and uh, we want to set properties for this category table. So um, prop tab tab. So category ID shall be integer uh, category, sorry, category ID. And I'm going to set this as a primary key for that use key attribute and it's in the namespace system dot component model dot data annotations okay and now um, prop tab tab and string category name Again, prop tab tab uh, string category description category description. So looks all spellings are right, correct. Yeah, that's fine. So so you're gonna name this table um, table as category category so the naming available in namespace I'll just say control dot uh, system dot component model dot data annotations dot schema okay yes yeah, add that namespace and <laughs> so we done now if you want to set the column uh, type, data type of the column, uh, see column, column type equal to worker. Fifty, is it right? Go 
column type name yeah column type name equal to walk of it and here again column type uh, work uh, 500 so if you want to set this as required then you can use required at attribute say required uh, see but I don't need that so you can also give the validation message as well okay so i'm going to save this control s to save and we will uh, go to solution add another folder data for the connection so here we can we're going to use the db context class for to connect to the database and for dependency injection okay so what's the name of the shop sara sorry sara shop db context okay so you name it as db context there we are it's so we need to add uh new you get package manager so we need to search for entity framework entity framework core so check for core i think this should be fine let's have a look So come to DB context. So we gonna inherit DB context from uh, this entity framework core. After that, we go to register that in the uh, startup class. Yes, for for dependency injection so service dot uh, I think service dot what's on yeah hard uh, DP context comes Sarah's shop DP context. That's it. Control dot. Sara shop db context sorry control reset okay so we need to configure uh, some more settings here so that I'm gonna copy this and paste it there We are using contact resolver for serialization, JSON serialization, and uh, again, we have to use 
hard course so we need to enable course for that we'll copy and paste hard course here um, so the course must be enabled to listen to uh, the ports for the for to use in the front end so if you want to access this API somewhere else we need to uh, give the name here so name of the port here or you can use star uh, just use star to listen to any port okay so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste that here okay this is common for all anyway so so if you're using angular I'm gonna, I'm gonna use angular that's why I use this one uh, to consume this API and if you don't if you want to use something else you can just use the star here like that so I'm gonna leave this as it is control s to save come to db contacts and then and then we're going to use the override method override option sorry on configuration and here we're going to use option builder to connect to the database option builder dot use sql server sql server to connect to the database and here we'll pass the constant string for that i will copy the constant string here uh, so i copy this paste here and uh, i'm going to change the database name to sara db okay so this is going to be our database name and now i'm going to set uh, properties and I'll set the motor class properties here so prop tab tab um, so we would say db set then uh, I think category isn't the category so is in the namespace using Sarah shop dot models and then use categories set categories and click save okay that's done so now we are ready to uh, create our database so we can do that from the console so go to console uh, tools and NuGet package manager console in here we can use add migration migration give it a name initial So there is some version compatibility compatibility issues with the uh, .NET Core. So what I'm going to do? Mm, manage to get package manager. So I'm going to uninstall this. So I'm going to use NT Framework, NT Framework Core SQL Server version 2.1.4. Install that. Click OK and click OK. And again, Tools. So that's also 1.4. Install that click OK and OK come to tools again package manager console uh, hard migration 
in uh, first should say first okay so the entity framework will create database for us so basically update sorry update uh, database so we have the database created shortly um, yes there we are we got our database we will have our database here we can just refresh it uh, see what's happening fail to retrieve data for this request Add process and uh, start again. So we got our database here. We got our tables here. This table category got columns here. Okay, so we gonna so we going to add some records for that. Edit two hundred rows. Add vegetables. All kinds of veg. Okay and then electronics electronics and then all kinds of electronics you say cars all makes available all makes available yes all makes is fine so we got three records now and we want to retrieve this data using web api <laughs> okay so for that we need to create controller so we'll build the solution first uh, rebuild it okay and now we're going to use the controller click add new controller api controller with actions using entity framework click hard select the model class category models set the db context change the name if you want if not just click add it will create the controller and then we are ready to go So categories controller, we got categories controller here. So you can see the API controller. And to get all the records uh, from the database, we are going to call this function get HTTP get i enumerable of category and it will list all the categories inside the table. Okay. And this will this will when you call this one this method it will call sorry it will show individual records so http get and then we are passing id to get individual record of the particular record and then uh, for to put we are also passing id here um, for to for to edit the particular record and uh, for to post so we are going to create we are using post request here 
and for delete we are using delete HTTP delete we are passing ID to delete the individual record and that's all really so now if we run this project and if we use this uh, API get categories then we should be able to retire uh, the details what we ended previously into the table uh, categories So you have to change the URL. There we are. We got all the records within the table here. All these records we are getting here as a JSON format. Okay, so vegetables, so we are getting vegetables, all kind of age, category name, electronics, and category description, all kind of electronics, and we got all the records here. So this is all about API. So if you want to call this API, if you want to consume this API, then you can call this. Um, URL here just copy this and use it with the uh, angular or with the you know whatever technology uh, jQuery or whatever technology you are going to use to consume this API that's all about uh, this API code first method uh, is very simple uh, I hope you enjoy the video thank you for listening and have a great day okay